All right, what's up, guys? Pet Man Matt Mar here. We're taking a look at a huge, huge game here in the city of Charlotte and um, the uh, Mecca Conference, and that's going to be Vance taking on Mallard Creek. And you, you know, the past couple years, this game has really been a tight game. It is a huge rival game. Uh, it came down to overtime last year. Uh, Mallard Creek was able to pull it out uh, once again. Um, you know, these schools are really close to each other. You know, the kids know each other really well. They live in the same neighborhoods. You know, they hang out. They work out together in the off seasons. Um, you know, Vance, <laughs> uh, head coach Aaron Brand, former offensive coordinator at Mallard Creek. Some of the coaches at Vance came from Mallard Creek. Um, I tell you, it, it's, you know, it's, it's a hell of a matchup. And you look at Mallard Creek, Chauncey Caldwell, at quarterback, uh, has played, you know, better and better as the season has gone along. Uh, Keyshawn Abel at wide receiver has stepped up to kind of go with Ryan Jones on the outside. Abel at 6'4", Ryan Jones at 6'3". Um, I think that's going to be a big advantage that um, they have on the, uh, the Vance secondary in terms of height. Uh, a lot of jump ball situations you might see later on um, in the red zone in that game. Uh, you look at the Mallet Creek offensive line, how big they are. Uh, led by Big Eric Douglas, 6'5", 280. Grant Gibson is uh, 6'1", 287. Uh, Big Traveris Moore, 6'6", 285. I mean, you don't see this stuff week in, week out on the uh, high school level. Um, not to mention Larry Mackins at linebacker, um, committed to Colorado State. Um, just a few of the players that are stand out in this game for Mallet Creek. When you turn to the other side with Vance, I mean, it's got to start with Kingsley Freddie quarterback who's committed to uh, East Carolina, and then you got um, tight end, H-back, whatever you want to call him, uh, Jeremiah Hall, um, is committed to Oklahoma. Uh, those two guys are really going to make you know plays on the offensive side of the football. And then you got the uh, Shrine Roll linebacker in Reynolds um, for Vance also leading the defense. So you got talent all over the field in this football game. And the two teams know each other so well, you got to come up with different things um, for each other in this game. And one of the things I always talk about is you're going to do something different, make it look like the same thing, but you're going to have something different coming off of it. Um, you know, obviously the key for, for Vance is to, to really hang in there. And we talk about the depth Mallet Creek has, obviously. Vance doesn't have that, so they really got to hang in there for four quarters, be in it in the fourth quarter, and then, you know, try to win it at the end. And, um, you know, the way this game has gone the past couple years, they will be in it in the fourth quarter. Um, they've just got to be able to make the plays and get over the hump. And Coach Aaron Brand talked about that in the uh, preseason interview we did with them. Uh, for Mallard Creek, um, this is a – um, this is their first big test ever since the, um, they had the uh, opening games uh, of the season that were non-conference. Uh, they kind of had a couple of um, easier opponents in the conference. And uh, then they had a depleted Huff team that they just dominated last week. So, you know, I'm sure they're itching for, for another spotlight game and a way to show everyone that, hey, we are still the dominant team in this conference. We're going to come out here and show you that tonight. Um, you know, it's, it's for first place. Well, it'll be for the top spot in the league. You got A.L. Brown that knocked off Vance early on in the season in the uh, conference play. But it's a big game in the conference. And it's a big game, you know, rival game between these two schools. I expect it to be a really good crowd. The weather will be great Friday night. Um, if you go, let us know what you think. I'm expecting another great, great uh, matchup in this rivalry. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it. Good luck to both teams.